Hey guys, what's up? Brooke Wibble here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my tent. Today, I am here with a special guest. Hey, you're never gonna believe who's here with me. She gone. I don't know where she is. Here she comes. Hey baby, how do you like it here? You like it? Did you find the wolves yet? Did you find the wolves? Are they here? Yeah! She's having a lot of fun sniffing the sniffs, looking around, and uh, yeah. It's just me and her today. It's a good girl. That's a good girl. Right now she's on high alert. There's squirrels over there. She likes the squares. Squirrels. So what are we doing here today? I'll tell you, it's been a day of frustration, frustration. So, I'm trying to give this camper away, this fifth wheel, this blight, this wart, this cancer that is here on the property. Yeah, I had two people now. Come tell me, I'm gonna meet you there. Be there at such and such time. I'm driving this, I'll be there. Yeah, I want it, I'm there. I know how to get it out. And I keep having people flake out. You know, wasting my time. So frustrating. I just, you know, A, I want this thing gone. B, I want this thing gone. It's taking up the best real estate on the property right now. There's only so much flat space here. It's just ridges and big trees and, you know, I had to really clear out this spot to make this happen. It's about the only other option on this piece at the moment. And, um, yeah, I just want it gone, man. So, here we are. No shows. I'm gonna have a fire, gonna enjoy myself, gonna make the best of it. Maisie Daisy's here, whatever you wanna call her. We call her both. <laughs> and uh, it's a beautiful evening. I think the weather's gonna turn tomorrow. So I'm gonna walk. I don't think I've really shown you this beautiful ridge, so uh, I'm gonna take a little walk, show you. Of course, it's so beautiful now. It's turning into fall and the colors colors are just amazing. This beautiful ridge down here and uh, oh man it's just so pretty. There's the tent up there. Let's go check it out girl. You can tell it's getting dark already and uh, it's it pretty thick. Beyond this we need to clear out a lot. Got these big trees and cleared out space to walk around. So pretty. Isn't that nice? Mm, she's gone already. Nice walking through here. Come out over here and like it's suddenly like birch trees through here. Brightens right up. Lots of standing water. She loves to explore as much as I do. So pretty. Isn't that gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful land. Oh, I like this spot right here. Yeah, check this out. Big, beautiful open space. 
these big, big trees. Yeah. Like that. So nice right here. Big trees, beautiful ridge. There's the tent right there. Nice, nice country. What do you think, girl? You like it? About ready for dinner? She really likes to just stand and sit and look and listen to Dogie's Paradise, Do Wolf. Should we eat? Ah, oh, beautiful evening. Ready to eat? Let's go to the tent. Come on, let's go eat. Halloween mask. <laughs> I'm coming. Come on. Yeah. All right, making our way back to the tent now. Absolutely beautiful. I've cleared all this area out. It's looking good. Gotta get a fire going. Feed this girl. Ready to eat? All right, come here, little girl. Oh, look at this. Sit. Some of this. There you go. There you go. So, I need to get a fire going. Probably need to find some dry wood. Uh, there's not much standing dead around here. It's been pretty difficult to find any. But if I want a fire tonight, I gotta get some wood. So I think I'm gonna break out the chainsaw, go for a little walk. Sims good vittles. Yeah. Sorry, baby. I'm on a little bit. Get this fire started. Alright, gonna get some birch bark. You're ready to go. All that fresh campfire. Love it. Daisy's already tired out. Already sleeping. Yeah. Nice. So this is her first night on the property and she's already barking. fire tonight. Beautiful. Beautiful night too. Maisie's already freaked me out. Running off, barking into the into the darkness. Uh, darn dog. So little Miss Maisie here. She's finding stuff to bark at. She runs to the ridge, barking. No. It's all good. Nobody's out there. Nothing's there. Yeah. 
It's okay. It's okay, girl. Come on. Come. Maisie. Maisie, come. Come on. It's all right. Come on. You're all right. Stay by the fire, girl. You'll be good. She's gonna go in and check out the tent. I got your bed in here. About to get a little fire going here in the stove, but she's got her nice bed here. She's gonna be cozy tonight. Yeah, you're gonna be cozy. You sleep with mama. You just never mind what's out there in the woods. It's gonna be just fine. You're freaking me out all the time, so just, just settle down. Come on, sit by the fire. Yeah. It feels so good. It's getting a little windy out here. I may take her inside here shortly because it's getting chilly and windy. And you can't see it, but full moon. That's what I have to deal with sitting here with her with the fire. She's just going to sit here and uh, bark. That's where she sits. Sits and she's going to sit and keep watch over the darkness. Bark and freak me out. Always on high alert. Might have to move this inside. There we go. There we go. Now we got a fire. Just needed to move some of it, I guess. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I should get some food going. I'm gonna get my little tripod cooker hooked up here. And uh, I'm gonna get my dinner going. So this is what I got for dinner. Burrito. Got a burrito for dinner. So, I'm gonna open it up and put her on the fire. Oh, look at who showed up. It's the wolf. The wolf is like, I'll take some food. I got some more for you too. All right, let's put this on the fire. Get the burrito, and I think I'm gonna put some water on for chai tea. That sounds pretty good. Feels so good. I'll just sit here, get some heat. It's getting a little chilly. I'm doing sweetheart. You having fun? You having fun with mama? He's a good girl. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. I'm so glad you're you're here with me. Stop freaking me out. I'll give you a treat later too. Alright, I think I got hot water. Let's get some let's get some tea going. Ooh, chai, got some cream in there. That's gonna taste so good. Nice hot cup of tea. How my burrito is doing. Let's see if it feels hot. Well, it's not really hot right now. I gotta get it closer to the fire. Got the burrito and the goodies. All right, this burrito. This is gonna be awesome. It's nice and hot. Look at this. So do some lettuce, onions be like a burrito salad. Burritos! Juicy Mexican goodness, baby. Ow! Oh man, I could eat Mexican food every single day. Give me the spices. Give me the seasoning and flavors. And the delicious goodness. Now I've got this jalapeno sour cream that on. It's so nice to have a table to work on. I got a little fire in the stove. It's nice and cozy in here. Look at this. 
it's not complete without some Tabasco. Lots of it. Some salsa. Oh dear Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day, the fall colors, the, the good time being up here. And I thank you for this food and your, all your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. That's, not, that's not bad for frozen burrito. You gotta cook them over a campfire, and you gotta eat them with lots, of, lots of fixings. Mm. Super good. Mm. This spot. Well, I think we are in for the night, right, Maze? Maisie? trying to get burrs out of her tail got it all cozy in here I am I am ready for bed so I think I'm gonna hit it Ooh. oh this is the best this is so amazing <clears throat> hello sweetheart hi you having fun I'm so happy to have you here with me She's a good girl. Well, we're done for the day. We're done. We're all done. Oh. Oh. Smack me with your tail. Go lay down. No, we're all done. Gotta go lay down. That would be good. Go right there. So wonderful. <laughs> Scratching her ear. You see me now? Well, guys, see you in the morning. Good night. Here we go. So good morning guys. Nice day outside. I got a little fire going in here and uh, heating up my coffee water. Let's see what Maisie's up to. Yep. That's where she likes to be. You seen anything interesting? Good morning. You on guard? Yes. Stretch it out. Hi. Come here. I want to check your head because I thought I felt a tick this morning. So let me see where I felt that and take a look. Somewhere on your head here. I know. Oh, you won't sit still. Come here. You sit. Sit. Good girl. Where did I feel that? Gotta get, I gotta find it. Let's see, there, I feel something. Let me take a look. Yep, it's tick. So, I've got just the thing, I need to get it out. My sponsor is Survive Wear. I love these first aid kits. You open it up and everything is organized and labeled. It's really an awesome kit, you get this little one with the big one check it out everything's organized but what I need in here is the tweezers let's get that take out 
Let's see. <clears throat> Sit down. Good girl. Let's get that tick out. Now to get a tick out, you want to grab it right at, stay. You want to grab it right at the base of where it meets. I know you want to bite it. I do too. There's a nasty, there's a nasty tick. So these tweezers in my survive wear kit, I, I wouldn't normally have tweezers with me. So that really, this is really awesome. I'm going to put my tweezers back where it says tweezers and we're good to go. Now these kits, these are fantastic. The thing that sets this apart is how it's all labeled and just, I mean, this is professional stuff. Um, I just love this first aid kit. I've got a discount code. If you order one of these right now, you get 10% off and you're also helping support my channel. So thank you to Survivewear. You saved the day right now. Got the tick out of Maisie. So thank you. Breakfast, huh? You want some breakfast? Go. I'm gonna check my coffee water. It's time. Let's get some coffee rolling. Let's get my water out. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. You smell that? And the beeswax candle and the fire crackling. Oh, life is good. I just love how she stands guard over this ridge. It's like that old cartoon uh, on Looney Tunes where the sheepdog would take turns with the wolf. They'd punch a time clock and they'd watch over. <laughs> I just love it. She sits there all the time. Listening, watching, <laughs> keeping me safe. All right, it's coffee time. Coffee time. Hi, baby. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. So I want to talk for a minute about my tent. Yeah, a lot of people have had questions about the tent. So I want to talk about that and my history with wall tents. You want to talk too? Are you talking? Are you talking? I have loved wall tents. My first experience with a wall tent was on the Yukon River in Alaska. I was hired as a guide by Neil Eklund to work on his giant floating log raft, which is basically like a big floating lodge. And for guest tents and cooking quarters, the whole, the whole shebang, we had wall tents. And I mean, this place, this log raft was unbelievable. It was just so so magical. I remember flying in a little bush plane and we banked over the Yukon River where I could see that log raft sitting in the water and I was just like, this is my job, pinch me. I was so, I was beyond blown away. I was so excited. So I spent the next month and a half on the river there with Neil. We guided clients down. We took, so people would fly into one village, float with us for a week or so and then fly out of the next village. And, so on and so forth. We take a fishing, awesome pike fishing in the tributaries, and it was just an amazing experience. And these wall tents were all decked out. It was warm and cozy inside, and you just can't beat that. It's it's like a, a feeling of being a pioneer. You know, this is how they did it in the gold rush days. Chilkoot Trail and the pass. They you know they hauled all this stuff up on horses and mules, and and they lived in these wall tents. There was wall tent cities in Dawson City, Yukon, and there was 10 cities in Alaska and Haines, and everyone was living in wall tents, so historically I just love them so much. 
for the fact that it really brings you back to like the original pioneers and the original people who were out there exploring. So it's just super cool. Later on, we got contacted by National Geographic to do a show called Yukon River Run, where again, we built a giant log raft, my family and I, Neil and his son, some other crews, and we floated down the Yukon River for a couple months. And again, we slept in wall tents, and it's just, it's just the most amazing feeling to be in a wall tent. Uh, we floated from the bridge north of Fairbanks to Galena, a few hundred miles downriver. Had wonderful experiences fishing, uh, exploring, having just great camaraderie with people that I love. And it all is possible because you can put up one of these wall tents just like that in the middle of nowhere. Then in Alaska, we lived in another wall tent for about two or three years while we built our, our latest cabin. And again, you, you know, the thing about wall tents is they're just breathable. You gotta get the white ones. Of course, white, you know, gives you that natural light. It's a 12 ounce sun forger, canvas fabric. It's really heavy duty. I get the fire water mildew, so they're treated and they're gonna last you a long time if you take good care of them. But right out of the box, you know, they're waterproof. Because when cotton gets wet, it expands. So all those fibers fill up and it's waterproof. So canvas tents in the wilderness, especially Alaska, Yukon, it's like iconic for wilderness travel. So they just, they're magical to me. So let me give you a tour of this tent and talk about it. <clears throat> this is a 12 by 14 tent. It is from thetentshop.com. I've dealt with enough manufacturers of wall tents to know quality when I see one and this is a really high quality tent and that's why I chose it. Not only that, but it was a good value. One of the better values out there for wall tents. So let's take a quick look at it. So right away you're going to notice that I've got the windows and doors open. I got the door open today, it's nice and warm. But this tentshop.com shop out of Idaho is just has really good features of reinforcement which I liked. I, I always want to buy a wall tent with a screen front door. It's really great to open this thing up and keep the mosquitoes out. So you come in, of course I have it all set up. Um, it's just lovely in here. Uh, a wood stove is essential. You know, wall tents breathe. So you don't have to worry about condensation and all that at any time. They're gonna be completely breathable um, basically a breathable instant cabin and the other thing about these tents you can see there's a reinforced canvas on the corners and also the ridge which is a really good thing now there are flaps on the end where you can put um, you can put the traditional wooden pole set up through here if you want no problem at all they're just gonna go right out the flap and then you set up the inside however you'd like. Now I ordered my tent with extra windows. I like to have that added um, option to open things up. It just helps it not feel so enclosed. Now I believe standard they come with the back window and I believe the screen door. I have to double check on that. Now a lot of you are wondering what about the stove? How do you get it through? Well this is the stove jack and this is a uh, fireproof area right here and it's fit to fit my stove pipe. When you come outside you can see that it goes all the way through the other side of the tent and also my rain fly here, this is the rain fly, has an opening for that stove pipe as well. And that's what it looks like backed up and of course it's got flaps you could pull that down if you don't want to have a stove through there. Now I get a rain fly because it's going to help protect your tent for a long-term situation. It's going to help the UV rays stay off of it and it's going to help um, rain and, and especially snow shed off the side. Now you can see here they have lots of reinforced areas for the fly and that is the same for the tent itself. Something I don't see on a lot of tents with all this reinforced webbing on the edge and a d-ring usually there's just a grommet here in the corner and so this is built to last longer that's why one of the reasons i chose this tent down here you've got spots for stakes i don't have the best stakes right now they're just what i had laying around at home rebar stakes would be much better 
<coughs> but ideally you would want to put your canvas tent on a wooden deck platform um, I didn't have time to do that so I just have it here up on I just set it up on a flat ground and that works too I put in the floor as far as flooring there's no floor in a canvas tent uh, unless you order one but I wouldn't recommend it I've got a piece of carpet here this is indoor outdoor carpet and underneath the carpet and underneath the carpet I put down a tarp so we got the tarp on below the carpet and then it's going over what we call the um, sod cloth now this is a piece of cloth that comes down from the tent and it allows um, that moisture to stay off so I'm just kind of doubling them up and that way it keeps the snow and rain and everything out of your tent so it's fantastic as far as the frame goes all I ordered was the angle brackets that's the angle iron pieces I cut all of these poles to uh, make the frame now it's it's a it's EMT tubing it's electrical tubing that you can buy at any um, <clears throat> big box hardware store whatever and um, it's expensive so getting a, a, a wall tent shipped with a frame is going to cost you a fortune you want to buy the angle iron and then cut your EMT yourself and I used a jig I used a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade so the frame alone you know this EMT cost me about $180 all by itself the angle iron kit is another probably $180 it's, it's expensive stuff um, of course like I said you can always just put in the traditional wooden um, poles and that works too where you crisscross them here and they're gonna come off the the ridge right there now as far as closing this thing up you just uh, unbuckle it tuck in the sod cloth it's got this interior yeah. zipper and then they call this the storm flap and it's very impressively secure and reinforced and that's just going to uh, that's going to keep all the wind and the snow and the rain out and it's just <sighs> these things are just great you can't you can't beat them uh, go online to the tentshop.com and there's the phone number and they'll hook you up with a good tent so like I said, you really cannot beat a wall tent. They're just cozy, they're warm, they're breathable. Coldest I've ever been in one is uh, two, two degrees above zero Fahrenheit. Super cold, but then you get that fire going in there and it's just like, it just, it'll, you'll be in a t-shirt real quick. So when you have a fire going in here, they're super, super warm and comfortable, even in the winter and super cold temperatures. So I can't recommend a wall tent highly enough. They're just, they're like part of my soul you know I just love them so much so yeah great company I was very impressed with the tentshop.com they're out of Idaho a veteran owned company I really appreciate that they do great work and so far this is one of the better made tents that I've personally ever bought and used so highly recommended guys go check it out and thank you again to my sponsor survive wear link below for 10% off that awesome first aid kit the next time we come out here, I'm gonna have surprise visitors. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I'll see you in the next one, guys. It's Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy. Happy! <laughs>